And there is Painter. It's a near miracle that we're looking at Painter preparing to run in one of America's top races. His story, an illustration of how courageous a thoroughbred horse can be. When we were buying him, I didn't know he was a special horse. Once we had him, we start seeing that he has some brilliance to him. You love him because he is so feisty and so full of life. Last season, Painter's tenacity helped him make headlines with a second place showing in the Belmont Stakes and a trip to the winner's circle in the Haskell Invitational. But soon after, while training for the Midsummer Derby, Painter began a struggle that would show how tough he really was. Came up to Saratoga, trained up here for a couple days, and I'm still thinking, we have a chance to make the Travers. But then, on August 21st, everything started going south. He showed up very late at night, close to midnight. It was an emergency that he was coming to us, that he had a fever and diarrhea and needed to be hospitalized. Painter was taken to Upstate Equine Medical Center in nearby Schuylerville with what seemed to be a stomach virus but turned out to be the beginning of a long search for answers. What was so frustrating with treating Painter is that you would surmount one obstacle and then another one would crop up in its path. Everybody was quite worried about him. Um, you know, there were times when we didn't think that he was gonna make it. We were worried about a horse not moving and being dehydrated and having so much intervention of all these needles uh, and tubes in him that he's not moving and therefore he might start to founder or have some sort of a laminitis. Laminitis, the condition that claimed the life of Kentucky Derby champion Barbaro, can arise from prolonged periods of bodily distress, putting Painter at particularly great risk. But after weeks of intense around-the-clock observation, internal medicine specialist Dr. Laura Jeficus made a breakthrough. We were getting to the resolution of the issues we just didn't know about, the hidden abscess. That was Dr. J. Sikas who found that, and that was an incredible ultrasonographic find. Once we saw it, then all of the pieces kind of fell into place. Despite having lost more than 300 pounds, in October, Painter was deemed healthy enough to travel to Pennsylvania for surgery where doctors removed a 15-inch abscess from his digestive tract. This June, he returned to the racetrack after an 11-month layoff for an allowance race at Hollywood Park and found his way to the winner's circle. Painter always had that edge to him. He's a tough horse, he's competitive, and he wants to win. He loves it, and he loves showing off, and he's just full of himself. It's just an absolute miracle. I mean, if you don't believe in miracle, you have to believe in it now. And after all that, there he is in the paddock, preparing to run in the Woodward. And his owner, Ahmed Zayat, is here on his 51st birthday.